And now, the show you've been waiting for. From Channels TV's global headquarters, it's The Other News. And here's your host, O.K. Bakasi. Yeah, welcome to a fresh episode of The Other News. Uh, the Other News is what happens when Nigeria throws lemons at us. We might as well call this show a special brand of Nigerian lemon juice. <laughs> Mm. Now the other news lemonade that they drink, so mm. yeah, I, I know you want some. Uh, okay, relax. It's the season finale, my people, and we have some amazing things lined up for you. My guest tonight was the PDP candidate for Koshofe Constituency 1 in the recently concluded 2019 elections. Ladies and gentlemen, Moyo Ogulewe is in the building. Also on the show... Uh, our correspondents, Binta Badmos and SLK, will be doing small and army ball on some matters. And Dan, objection. What is uh, wrong with this Dan? This season finale now, you are calling Binta, calling SLK. You will not call Dan. Uh, so I will not do any work this season finale. Okay, okay. Uh, objection sustained. Uh, you want to show your face? Sit uh, down and show your face for we now. We are entering new government, though. Uh, please. <laughs> it's, 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 it's next level here. Uh -huh. Come, please uh, change this cup. His mouth has touched it. Okay? <laughs> the Nigerian police in Adamawa State claims to have spent 30,000 naira over the course of six days to feed a detained vulture. Now, the vulture was arrested with its owner as residents complained that after every vulture sighting follows a Boko Haram attack. Now, when they say that Nigeria is an animal farm or a zoo, all of us will start to vest. But think I'm now. First, monkeys stole money. Then snakes swallowed the same money. Now, vultures consuming minimum wage for only six days. What fool human being will not even be able to enjoy himself for 31 days? Yeah, okay. Now, 2019 PDP presidential candidate Alaji Atiku Abubakar has admonished Nigerian children as the leaders of tomorrow not to give up on Nigeria. Uh, I'm just wondering, oh, which of the children he's referring to, because I'm somebody's child, uh, and I'm yet to see my tomorrow leadership. So if he's referring to my own little children, uh, no need, because I'm already telling them that they are the leaders of next tomorrow. Uh, because the way the leaders of yesterday are still hanging around our today leadership, and even our tomorrow leadership, we might as well even tell this our children that are coming after us now, that they are the leaders of next week. But as for the Nigerian project, we are not giving up. We die here on the matter. Eh? <laughs> and now to other matters. Inauguration day, inauguration day, inauguration day. And like OK Bakasi's early uh, role in Nollywood is now a worker pass. <laughs> now, after all, the shaking, the waving, political huffing and puffing, court judgment, court order, motion, counter motion, injunction and conjunction, motivational speakers leading and winning from social media, uh, you know, INEC putting us on permanent night vigil, victory parties on one side. Weeping parties on the other side, certificate of return and return of same certificate. <laughs> it all comes down to one day called Inauguration Day. A day when everyone and everybody is feeling fly, looking fly like an aeroplane. You see what I did there? Looking fly like an aeroplane. Ah, my rap career is growing. <laughs> oh, you, you can imagine even our humble VP who just wears up and down and cap, looking all fly, all, wear, all white like hush puppy, you know? <laughs> And our security agents, police, all of them, looking beautiful, like video vixens, you know, marching meticulously like church choreography. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. You know, inaugurations have come and gone. And now all that is left is for our leaders to keep the promises they were inaugurated for. Because we have seen this thing, you know, since 1999, we have been seeing inauguration season one. Now we are in season six. And they all come with one agenda or the other. And we are still where we were. When we were where we were, <laughs> when they came is where we still are in the where. Now first, uh, 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 Baba himself came and said he will fight against corruption. Then he gave unto us the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, a.k.a. the 2019 Yahoo Boys Nightmare, a.k.a. EFCC, alongside 
her twin younger sister, the ICPC, Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, a.k.a. Ask Mr. EFCC. <laughs> then the administration that followed said they had a seven-point agenda. Now we said, okay, bring it now. We like it. Somehow, the administration managed to show us that even with seven points, you can still miss the point, not make a point, or even go off point. <laughs> then came our handsome, smiling Jonah, Jonah, and he said he was going to give us transformation. Well, did he really do it? How far did that go? At least if there's anything we can take away is that we have transformed the way people should concede to defeat in election. You know, and also transformed uh, how to be aware of our spiritual consciousness from our wives. Chai! Chai! There is God! Mama, peace in the building! And then the change era came, and it came with three point agenda. So that they will, you know, three point, they can select it quickly. Security, number one. Mr. Speaker, I cannot go to my village and sleep. I cannot go to my village and spend a night as I'm speaking to you. Corruption, number two. Economy, number three. What do we need to do? We need to find new ways as a people of running our economy. We need economic miracle workers. Well, how has that panned out? Hmm. If you ask me, now who are going to ask? You know what? I think we should change this inauguration day to National Vows Making and Renewal of Vows Day. Eh? Because like uh, this inauguration of a thing, it should have some solemnity, you know, matrimoniality. After all, after swearing in, they sign the dotted lines like marriage registry. So there should be some seriousness into this. We should give them a ring to wear. You know, any day they don't keep to the promises, the ring will shock them or something, you know? <laughs> now, anyway, we are here in the next level. Mr. President, you have already said that in this next level, you will shock those who call you Baba Go Slow. So we uh, have already taken the liberty to christen you, sir. Baba Formula One. <laughs> Move things real fast. And we have already packaged a goodwill message from us at the other news. Perfectly, beautifully made handcrafted card, which I will personally deliver to you by myself for myself in Nassau Rock. And the message of these cards reads thus. Today, being the inauguration day, is a very special day for your administration. You have another opportunity to lead us. As you lead us, please tell us where you are going so that we can hold enough transport to follow you. <laughs> you did very well fighting insecurity and Boko Haram. Today, Boko Haram holds no territory. Well done, sir. But please, and I beg at the same time, Ensure that our security chiefs and officials continue to lose weight <laughs> so that bandits, headsmen, kidnappers, and arm robbers could be and will be a thing of the past. As for the economy, I wish you well, Mr. President, in finding the economic miracle that we need in this country and the miracle worker. Because 92% of Nigerians living on less than a dollar a day, Kolewek, sir. I must suggest that you should also have Nathaniel Bassi standing by CBN headquarters every morning 6.15, singing, Miracle Walker, come and do a miracle, a miracle today, because our economy needs a miracle. Finally, sir, as for the fight against corruption, we pray that unlike the time where you hold shelters on one hand and hold the other hand on one hand to fight this corruption, you will hold shelters on your two hands to fight this corruption. Because we believe that in this next level, corrupt sticks will no longer find shelter within the broom. Lots of love from us right here at Channels TV, the other news, to our dearest president, Muhammad Buhari of the House APC, first of his name, champion of Daura, the breaker of corrupt chains, and the banisher of all the political opposition defectors and redefectors. Uh, Dan, sure you are happy now. Well, the world would be a better place if everybody's carried along. Um, in view of uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's planned visit to Nigeria, uh, the other news weather center has prepared a special report just for him. Um, you can thank us later, sir.
No problem. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. Here is a weather update for places you might visit. I am your meteorologist, Binta Badmos. Let's start off at the FCT Zamfara on Oshu State Tribunal Resort, where showers of victory and defeat have led to beautiful torrents of controversy with temperatures ranging from we no go great degrees to election we no get tribunal. That one na election degree Celsius. However, things cooling off at 20 degrees in Imo State following hailstones of presidential and vice presidential praise for the former governor's many beautiful statues. I mean, achievements. Looking for a place to swim? Look no farther than Lagos, a state beautifully flooded thanks to the rains and to those who throw, throw, throw their litter gently into the gutter. While in nearby Ogun State, you may experience earth tremors caused by politically inspired, groundbreaking road creation, quarter to inauguration. I'm mostly for the politicians, damn. Moving on to the north, where we, a certain governor claims to have the calmest weather in the region. Since all in a competition, can your state ever? Peace and tranquility. Hmm. Okay. Oops. Be sure to watch out for a sudden and expected showers of bombs and bullets caused by gorilla rainmakers. Now over to Abia State in eastern Nigeria, where extreme temperatures of 72 degrees might lead you to seek shelter with your village people of the lost tribe of Israel. Who misplaced them? I don't know. Anyway, hopefully after your visit, they will become the found tribe of Israel, and you can now move the embassy over there. We advise that you hold off on visiting traditional rulers where hostile climates as high as 2,000 degrees have invaded traditional territories in Kano, Daura, and Rivers. Luckily, regions like the Benin Kingdom still have favorable atmospheric temperatures, maybe as a result of some Edo. I didn't see anything. Oba no de good transfer. Oba tokweye ise. That's all for now, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Nigeria looks forward to your visit. Over to you, okay? Yeah, aside being the PDP candidate for Koshofe constituency one in the 2019 elections, my guest tonight is also a Nigerian royal, a lawyer, and the son of one of Nigeria's veteran politicians. Ladies and gentlemen, join me. Welcome, Mr. Moyo Ogulewe is in the building. Yes, yes, yes. Moyo, you're welcome. Please be seated. You resigned, as most people do these days, I, I find. You resigned from your party, the PDP, after you failed to capture the seat you were going for in the 2019 election, and you cross carpeted. I also know another, uh, Ob Obanikoro, who was here on the show, who did the same thing and got what he wanted. Were you motivated by his success after decamping? No, 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 no. Um, um, Jide, 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 is a very, Jide is a brother to me, and... Yeah. Um, and um, everybody has um, their reasons for moving. Uh, my own reason for moving is because um, the PDP in Lagos, um, I don't see them winning election in the next 10, 15 years. And I'll tell why? you And I'll tell you why. Um, they have this problem of leadership where, um, for example, in 2019, there was this group called 65-35. In an election, even there are groups in different parties. But after a candidate emerges as um, the, um, after an aspirant emerges as the candidate of the political party, everybody needs to come together and face um, the proper election. But in PDP, once um, after once there's this 65 35 and there's issues, they fight till the election, election. and you cannot win an election if you are not together. So, um, my reason for moving was because um, um, I felt very the party was not with me when I needed them the most. Um, I've served the party for years, and um, they know my capacity as a, as a candidate. And um, at the right time when I needed them, they were not there at all. 65-35 has uh, messed the party up. Um, the group of um, Chief Olabode, George, 65, and the group of Jimmy Agbaje, 35, um, they're supposed to come together and, um, and, and win an election, but they will never do that. Oh, wow. It's, it's very unfortunate. So I assume your new home now. Is better organized. Of course, of course, better organized. I've I've been with them a couple of two weeks, and I can see how they do their things. It's, it's different, especially in Lagos. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that for now. We'll, this interview has not ended. Please let me check in with my correspondents and see what's cooking. We'll be back. Is the other news? Don't even go anywhere.
Yeah, welcome back. Uh, even as SLK prepares to show us the fruit of his amiibo, I'll be continuing my own amiibo with Mr. Moyo Gulewe. Looking at Lagos, Lagos is um, the, the, the party you've gone to is the party trying to turn Lagos into a mega city. Okay, but how do we solve this issue of mega flood anytime we have mega rain in Lagos? You know, how, how do we now, how do we get out of this situation where we need to switch our cars to Kenu? Well, um, when I was at, um, in PDP, I used to criticize um, the issue of flood. Mm -hmm. And um, I've joined the APC, I'm still going to criticize that. The reason, good, is that um, the reason is that we need to start doing things properly in the country. Now, um, my first problem is um, we need to come together. What is the issue and why do we have flooding in that part of, um, in the Lekki part and the Koei part of, um, of Lagos? I'm thinking that, um, I'm not an expert in that, but I'm thinking that it could be um, the feeling of um, the, what's it called, the, um, the lagoon. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. and um, they didn't channel um, the waterways properly into the lagoon. I'm thinking. So there mm -hmm. are two things. It's either um, the feeling of the lagoon one, two, or the drainage system are not working properly. So they need to come, they need to sit down. Um, at this time, at this particular time when we have the rain, uh, they need to go around the city and see what they can do about it. Do it's a very a better in, um, environmental impact assessment. If you had to say these are four sectors in Lagos where I want immediate intervention in the next four years, what will those areas be? Well, uh, my first one is education. Okay. Um, the reason is that um, I'm closer to the grassroots and when I was campaigning, I was moving around to see um, some certain schools and um, see what's going on. Um, the schools have gone really bad, and um, I think the government should look into that as soon as possible. Um, secondly, transportation system. Transportation system, you can see they are not, they are trying. This one comes, this governor comes, somebody comes, you see a new bus, Fashola comes, you see another bus. So there's, there's a problem with that transportation system where I think they need to come together and have just one channel and see how we can move. Instead of having this person, this bus, that one's bus, and, that's where I'm having issues with two. Totally, electricity, I think we can generate electricity ourselves, especially in Lagos. You have waterways around you, which you can use. So uh, yes, it's going to cost much, but you can also do that. And I think the fourth one, I'll go with um, infrastructural development, uh, which is um, like we can see what Ambody did at Oshodi. Um, we can do more of that. Um, within the within the within the environments of Lagos, you've job. been amazing and spontaneous. Thank you so very Thank much for making time to talk to us. Yeah, the children that make up thirty three percent of Nigeria's population today will make up hundred percent of the population tomorrow. Think about that. So, in commemoration of uh, Children's Day twenty nineteen, our senior Agbaya correspondent SLK <laughs> has this for us. Hi guys, um, you will agree with me that children are the future. At least most people think so. Even Sierra thinks so. Children are the future. While some other people actually say tech is the future. So I'm confused. Is it tech now or children? Are they headed in the same direction? Or are we going to see like <laughs> tech and children? Are we going to see them merge? And we now have something like robo children or something like that? Well. Without Shade Adu, I mean, without further ado, let's go straight into it and ask the only people qualified to answer these questions. Guess who I have here with me? Kids! Amazing kids. Hi, kids. Hello. Do you think tech, techno technology, do you think is the future? Yeah. Why? Because it works faster accu um, in accuracy and is is also reliable. So you think tech is the future because it works faster with better accuracy and um, is reliable. Mm, interesting. Why do you think tech is the future? Do you think tech is the future? Do you think it's the future? Just nod, yes or no? Yes, that means you agree with him. Do you think tech is the future? Do you think tech is the future? Just nod. Yeah. Wow, they think tech is the future. So which brings me to my next question. What is tech? What do you, what do you understand by tech? Oh, and Angel, Angel, let's go. Tech is the application of scientific knowledge in solving practical problems. Uh, you know what? Hold on, kids. Um, I need to visit the future, all right? I really need to visit the future. Just stay here. I'll be right back. 
in future. What? What year is this? It's 2019. Ah. So I flew all the way from the past 2019. What? And why are you not dressed like the future people? I don't understand. Never mind. Oh. So, well, I traveled all the way to ask this very simple question. Uh, what is tech exactly? Tech? Well, it's just, it, it's just a set of tools that we use to, to, to make our lives easier. That's all. Should Nigeria be falling behind in technology? Or we are just building our technology so that we, we self can be choking mouth when them Japan, our senior brothers, and uh, America, when they are talking? The thing is that we are already behind. And the sooner we start to learn how to build our own technology, it's going, to be, it's going to be best for us. So because all these countries, they've gone far. And if we don't do anything about it, we'll be left behind. So we, you're far. telling me that even in the future, we are behind? We are behind. I thought future... We're so, so we're in the past in the future. So I have to tell them back in the past now that, that in the we future, are, that we're uh, in the past. Yes. So I have to go back to the past and, and tell them, them that we are, the future, we're we are in still the in the past, yes. This is serious. Uh, do we have enough people to, enough personnel, enough IT experts to actually build our technology? Do we, we, have? we don't, too. Because even those countries that you just called, like the US and Japan, they don't have enough. So we that are backwards, don't, uh, we don't even have at all. But sometime in the past, the health minister or something, he said something like about we having too many doctors, such that we're even exporting to other countries. So it's not like that in the... We don't United. even have enough at all. I don't know what he's talking about. Hmm. This is serious. But I just, I'm just happy. I'm sincerely happy because the Nigerian government has been able to provide the enabling env environment for tech experts. Don't, don't, that, 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 that's not true at all. That's not true. They've not done anything about it. They need wow. to do more. They need to do more about it. Really. So even in the future, see, they're calling me from the past. I really have to go. Okay. So, so in the future, Nigeria is not creating an, an, an enabling environment. We have not done anything about it yet. I need to go back okay. so that I don't die here. I don't get stuck here. Some kids are waiting for me. Okay. I don't want to waste their time. They are calling me now. See? Okay. All right. Yeah. No problem. Um, do you have like transport fare? Let me. I don't have. Okay. So I'll just go like that. You can go, go the way you came. I don't know how you came. Just you, don't, you don't want to send any message to any of your people. You can gr greet my, gra my grandfather. Okay. Mm. All right. But guess what, guys? Guess what? The future is tech. Like tech. T. Tech. Like, you won't believe it. Everything is technology driven. You can be anything you want to be in the tech world. Even being a doctor requires some level of technology. You know that, right? Being a surgeon, there are new. Ah, tech is the future. Even being a. Being a lawyer, technology. I don't know. I think it works too. Whatever. But being an actress, technology. Yes, everything is technology, like technology driven. So government is not only farming. It's not only farming. So on behalf of myself and the kids, we say a very big bye to everybody. Let's say bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, SLK, for that message from the future. Uh, well, this brings us to the end of today's show and might I add the end of another season of the other news. Uh, that said, we'll be taking a short break and by short, I mean uh, we'll be back in July 2019. A big thank you to all our wonderful audience for your engagement, enthusiasm and contributions. Hosting you this season has been an absolute pleasure. Before somebody start cutting onions here. <laughs> Just know that we'll always be a click away. That's if you follow us at the other news CTV across all our social media platforms. Our people say that it takes a village to raise a child. My name is Okay. See you in July. I'll miss you. I'll miss, I'll miss you guys. I'll miss you. But we'll be back. We'll be back.